In this video, we'll explore the background operations of email communication, focusing on three fundamental protocols, SMTP, POP3, and IMAP, covering the process from sending to retrieving emails. To begin, let's take a look at SMTP, which stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. SMTP primarily utilizes the Transmission Control Protocol, TCP, on port 25 and operates as an application layer protocol. Your email client, like Outlook, helps you prepare your email. When you hit send, it contacts your email server. The email client uses SMTP to transmit the outgoing message to the email server. When an email is sent within the same domain, such as from one Gmail account to another Gmail account, SMTP facilitates communication between the sender's email client and the email server. For emails within the same domain, the email server manages the delivery internally without the need for multiple servers to handle the process. However, when sending an email to a different domain, for example from Gmail to Yahoo, the process involves SMTP communication not only within the sender's domain but also across different domains. Google's SMTP server recognizes the recipient's domain is outside of Gmail. It contacts Yahoo's SMTP server using the recipient's email domain information. In this case SMTP may relay the email through multiple servers to reach the destination. The recipient's email server receives the email through SMTP. It performs checks, such as spam filtering or virus scanning, and then places the email into the recipient's inbox. Throughout this process, SMTP facilitates communication between servers, acknowledging successful message transmission and handling any errors or delays encountered along the way. There is a secure version of SMTP, which is called SMTPS stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol Secure. SMTPS encrypts the data transmitted between the email client or application and the mail server. The standard port used for SMTPS is 465. The email you sent has already been delivered to the recipient's mail server. From there, the process of reaching the recipient's mail client is facilitated by protocols like POP3 and IMAP. These protocols enable the retrieval of emails from the server to the recipient's email application or client. First, there's POP3, or Post Office Protocol 3. POP3 operates on a download and delete model. When you configure your email client with POP3, it connects to your mail server, retrieves emails, and typically removes them from the server, unless specified otherwise. This download and delete mechanism may be compared to a scenario where you collect your mail from a post office box, take it home, and the letters are no longer present in the post office box. Your emails are stored locally on your device, allowing you to access them even offline. Now, let's explore IMAP, the Internet Message Access Protocol. Unlike POP3, IMAP keeps your emails stored on the server, enabling access from multiple devices. IMAP synchronizes your mailbox across devices, ensuring changes made on one device reflect across all others. It doesn't download emails by default but caches them for viewing, requiring an Internet connection to access. So, while POP3 downloads emails to your device and typically removes them from the server, IMAP retains emails on the server and synchronizes them across all your connected devices. IMAP provides convenience by allowing easy access and management of emails from anywhere. POP3 and IMAP operate at the application layer of the OSI model. POP3 uses port 110 and port 995 for non-encrypted and encrypted connections respectively, while IMAP operates on port 143 and port 993 for non-encrypted and encrypted connections. Emails can be accessed and managed in two primary ways, through a mail client, 
also known as an email client or email application or via webmail, web-based email services accessed through a web browser. Firstly, a mail client is a software application installed on your computer or mobile device. Examples include Microsoft Outlook, Mozilla Thunderbird, and Apple Mail. To access your emails through a mail client, you configure it to connect to your email accounts using protocols like POP3 or IMAP for incoming emails and SMTP for outgoing emails. Mail clients offer features like offline access, extensive organization options, and rules for sorting emails. They allow you to manage multiple email accounts within a single interface. Emails are usually stored locally on your device providing quick access and the ability to read emails offline. In contrast, webmail refers to email services accessed through a web browser, like Gmail, Yahoo Mail, and Outlook.com. Users access webmail services by logging into their accounts through a web browser, without requiring any software installation. One point to notice here is that, when you access your Gmail account through the web interface using a browser like Chrome, POP3 or IMAP is not directly utilized by you in that context. The web interface of Gmail, accessed via a browser, uses a different protocol called HTTPS to establish a secure connection between your browser and Google's servers. POP3 and IMAP are typically used when you configure an email client application like Outlook or Thunderbird to access your mail account. That's all for this video. We hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.